Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Jersey History Day 2021 at Monmouth University. My name is Melissa Ziobro, and I'm the Specialist Professor of Public History here at Monmouth and the Campus History Day Coordinator. When we were forced to cancel our in-person competition last year, just days before the event we had all worked so hard on, we never could have imagined we wouldn't be meeting in person this year either. But here we are. I'm so delighted that, despite all that is going on in the world, you chose to forge ahead and compete anyway. You truly deserve our applause. There are a few things I want to do in this welcome video to preserve elements of the big opening ceremony we usually throw to kick off the day on campus. I just wanted to say hello and tell you myself how awesome I think each and every one of you is. And then I wanna let the chair of the Department of History and Anthropology, Dr. Christopher DeRosa, say a few words. Then I wanna tell you and show you a little about our beautiful campus at the Jersey Shore. Last but not least, and this is always my favorite part of our opening ceremony when we're in person, I wanna read the roll call of schools participating. Now, when we are in person, the students usually kind of see which school can be the loudest when I call their name. So feel free to go right ahead and scream at home if you want. You deserve it. Be sure to watch the other two videos that will be posted in this playlist on my department's YouTube channel. A keynote address from Dr. Zanetta Rago-Craft, the inaugural director of the Intercultural Center at Monmouth, and of course, the award ceremony. Okay, so first up, some words of welcome and inspiration from Dr. Chris DeRosa. Good morning. Happy New Jersey History Day. Welcome to Monmouth University. Um, we are delighted to host you, whether virtually or in person, or and to serve as your judges today. My name is Chris DeRosa. I'm the chair of the History and Anthropology Department here at Monmouth University. So you're here for a competition and competitions are a legitimate rush. And at the end, we'll tip our hats to the winners. But from the perspective of your judges, I gotta tell you, it's always a little agonizing. Uh, there are always more projects that we are excited about than can possibly move on. So you can't control what the judges do and you can't control the external rewards in your life that are bestowed by others. What you can control is your effort and whether or not you took the time to savor the moment. The real reward for this whole endeavor is the times that you were in the zone, the times that you either because you were on a deep dive of discovery by yourself or in a creative process with your peers and close collaborators, being so into it that you are unaware of the passage of time. If you were there, then you already are rewarded for this experience. It's one of the reasons we designed the curriculum at the uh, Monmouth for the Monmouth history major as one of trying to get you in the zone as often as possible. A lot of deep dive elective courses. We make everybody take public history. It's one of our requirements uh, because we think it's important that you learn to share history with the public as you're doing today. And we have a senior conference where you pursue your own topic, much as you guys are doing today, and present it in a public forum. So if History is the thing that gets you into the zone. We get you here. Um, we, we're there with you. But there are lots of ways in life to get into the zone and lots of places to do it. So I wish you luck finding those opportunities to be in the zone, whether it's history or anything else that you discover. And I wish you good luck today. Thanks for submitting and being here with us. I'm back and now I'd like to show you a little bit more about our campus with some help from the Monmouth University YouTube page. Welcome to Monmouth University. I am standing on Shadow Lawn, the center of our Monmouth University, and I'm surrounded by 170 acres of our campus. 
Looking to the east, less than a mile away, is the Atlantic Ocean and one of the most beautiful beaches of the Jersey Shore. And about 50 miles to the north is New York City. We are a mid-sized university, 4,400 undergraduate students and 1,500 graduate students attend Mom's University from 36 states. Mom's University is large enough that you will never run out of opportunity here. But we are small enough that your path here will be unique to you because here you are an individual. In small class sizes, none larger than 35 and an average of 21, there are no lecture hall classes here and you will always have a faculty member teaching you. You will get to know your professors and they will know you. This is what personalized learning means to mom. It's about you. Add this to our focus on experiential learning, the connection between the classroom and real world experience, and you will find opportunities everywhere at Mammoth. Welcome to Mom's University and enjoy your tour. Okay, everyone, I very much hope you have enjoyed our virtual welcome ceremony thus far, but I suspect this may have been the moment many of you are waiting for. Roll call time. So let's get a good account of all of the wonderful schools we have participating here today at New Jersey History Day, Monmouth University. We have John P. Holland Charter School. Midtown Community School number eight, Bayonne. Millstone Township Middle School. Patterson School 28. Pinebrook School, Manalapan English Town. Washington Community School number nine, Bayonne. Manalapan English Town Middle School, Marlboro Memorial Middle School, Ranny School, Passaic Preparatory Academy, Bayonne High School, Colts Neck High School, Communications High School, Eastern Christian High School, Freehold Borough High School, Freehold Township High School, Lakewood High School, Marlboro High School, Passaic County Technical Institute, and Chandragiri Home School. Thank you all so much for being with us today and good luck to all of our contestants. We'll see you at the award ceremony.